Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contracts, services month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on Start a Podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Atif Siddiqui on the line, and he's founder and CEO over at Branch. Atif, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Oh, man, Atif, so I'm excited to get into today's topic. So financial wellness benefits for working Americans. I know there's a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, executives out there that are always thinking about different ways to add value and benefits for their employees. Um, so we're going to get into that. But before we do, uh, just to give the audience a little bit more of a background, uh, tell us a little bit more about your company, Branch, please. Sure. Uh, Branch is a, a challenger bank that partners with employers to really help working Americans grow financially. Uh, We're focused on helping people that really live paycheck to paycheck. Uh, Typically, these are like hourly employees. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, I think, even more so now, uh, you know, these employees are facing some financial hardship, and uh, we provide them a mobile-first solution to to deal with, uh, you know, free financial services. So that includes uh, fee-free checking accounts access to wages that they've already earned, um, some money management and budgeting tools to help them grow. No, I love it. And I I think it's a great take um, on on helping employers and and employees both. Um, And, you know, just uh, use use the word there. And I I like this word and I don't want to, or phrase, and I don't want to assume that the audience audience knows kind of this category, Um, even though many may have heard of it, but I would like your take on it. Um, So use that word challenger bank. I mean, how, how do you kind of define that or how do you position that? Yeah, Challenger Bank um, really is a, a digital first bank um, that, uh, you know, we have no retail locations and we can provide really the full suite of banking services to um, our end users. And so this means, uh, again, a free, free free checking account with no overdraft fees, no monthly minimums, free ATMs. And so they can really get the whole banking experience um, uh, in a digital first format. Fantastic, and uh, I just wanted to bring that out there because I, I kind of, I'm and nothing against the legacy banks, but I love this whole movement of challenger banks and and, uh, and and the nimbleness because I found that something like that, like free checking or all these other things, you know, there's people out there paying fees or doing things that maybe they don't have to. They just don't even know this exists. So I'm really excited to bring this benefit out to uh, to my audience. And let's uh, let's let's go a little bit further to today's topic. So you mentioned it, but let's go further. So financial wellness be- benefits. For working Americans. I mean, where do you want to start with this one? Because it's a big deal what you're doing over at Branch. Yeah, I think to start maybe taking a step back and to kind of let your audience know why why we exist and where the gaps are in uh, current financial benefits offered by employers, right? So when you think about financial wellness benefits employers currently offer, it's typically more geared towards longer term objectives, 401ks, HSAs, and what we found that there's this huge gap, um, especially with a demographic of employees that may be living paycheck to paycheck, they're, they're more focused on sort of these shorter term objectives. Um, and, you know, the way we've approached the ability to fill that gap really is by helping them first um, reduce the fees that they're paying um, potentially to other institutions, getting them uh, cash that they've already earned um, in their hands. Um, so that they are not um, dealing with some degree of income volatility and, again, taking on more fees either due to, like, 
late payments, maybe more predatory measures like a payday loan. So, um, and ultimately the goal, really, you know, for us at Branch is like, how do we, by reducing fees, giving them access to cash flow, really help them grow their account balance over time and better manage their money over time with Branch. That's a big deal. And um, let's go, not not all employers know this, so I, I want to spend a little bit more time on it. So some employers listening to this may not know that their employees, especially hourly employees, are in these types of situations because it's not something that somebody volunteers, right, but not necessarily. Um, so what, tell, talk a little bit more about kind of how the predatory side of, you know, the payday loan and this and that, all these, like how that works because um, for the employers listening, you may not be in that situation. Situation, but if you think about your employees, maybe um, this may be a, bit, a big deal and a big way to help them. So, but first, maybe that little education piece on how the predatory side of this world works. Definitely, I mean, it, it, it is a you know living paycheck to paycheck. Eighty percent of Americans, roughly now, live paycheck to paycheck. Um, specifically, with regards to hourly employees, there's three key challenges they face. One is they deal with a high degree of income volatility. So their income fluctuates week to week based on you know the hours they get. Uh, the second is that they really have little or no access to credit, um, and that's really because maybe they're you know a new employee uh, that's just joining the workforce and they haven't been poor. They're an immigrant that came to this country when it's their early job, um, or even people with damaged credit that fell out of the system. Um, and the third is that they have little or no uh, savings, right? And so. What we found is that, you know, one short-term unexpected expense that comes off um, really can put them into a difficult financial situation that they need access to capital, and some of those access to capital uh, come with very predatory terms, like petty loans with extremely high interest rates. Um, we looked at, you know, since we have a relationship with the employer, we know when the employees showed up to work, we know how much they made. Um, and so really we are giving these employees access to money that they've already earned ahead of their, their paycheck um, at no cost to the employer or the employee. Um, and I can dive in a little how we make money, but it's, it's been a great solution again, so that you know they're not in this cycle of a debt or incurring more fees over time. And I mean, when we talk percentage, and not not, and this this can change from time to time. But when we talk about percentages on the predatory side, I mean, we're talking it could be twenty percent, it could be thirty percent. Am I wrong on that? Like, like they can be really high. I've heard some crazy numbers in the past. Is that am I right or am I off on that? Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, they even go higher if you look at you know how that percentage sort of compounds over yeah. time if they fail to miss a payment or whatnot. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a really un, you know unfortunate situation, and you know it's not just the the uh, the loans. It, to be honest, it's also you know this demographic has really come to accept uh, an overdraft fee as like a normal part of everyday life. They're getting one to three overdrafts a month, um, and that's just from the you know current uh, status quo of banking institutions. So we um, you know we're looking for ways that we can help again this demographic not have to go through that that's great and so let's go a little bit further into kind of how this works from the employer side so meaning i i know there's a lot of employers listening to this right now that are like wow this is an extra bond it may cost me little to nothing to offer it to my employees it's going to help them it's going to help them you know somebody somebody's car breaks down right now they have an unexpected 400 or 500 dollar expense maybe they were already a little strapped on cash for whatever reason and now they have to go do a payday loan or something and they're in a 30 percent or whatever it is um interest rate so that little 400 dollar or 500 dollar problem that maybe they already had the salary they, they just you know they have to get to work next week right but they need the car fixed this week right so now that little thing could be could throw off you know months for them to pay that back and to pay back that interest and everything else so talk about from the employer side um what that looks like to get a benefit like this to, out to their employees yeah uh again it's important to note this is free to both employers and employees and typically um you know when working with employers we need to know a couple of key pieces of information one um is the employee uh, you know, employed at the place of employment? So we get like a employee roster 
uh, from the employer uh, to verify employment. The other is, uh, you know, when did the employee show up to work? So when did they clock in and out? Um, and so those are two key pieces of information. And, and I will say employers are also turning to branch um, as also a way for, to help bank employees. So, you know, most of the industries we work in uh, were with retail, you know, restaurant, there's a large percentage of employees that are still receiving paper checks. And, you know, if you think about this, one delay in a paper check could be the difference between an employee's utilities getting shut off or not. And so we're also able to uh, help bank these employees with our, you know, fee-free checking account, and we provide them a physical debit card if they would like to use it. Um, and it helps, you know, employers reduce costs there too on just sending out these checks and really making a difference for employees. Man, I love what you're doing. You're really creating a lot of win-win situations um, or win-win-win. I mean, your company's obviously winning for provide service. Um, the employees are winning um, because they're, you know, if they're strapped for cash or, like you said, um, need a little bit of help on the banking side of things, now they have that covered. And then for the employer, it's not even costing them anything. You're making it too easy for them, a tip. Come on, man. Yeah, no. And I will say, you know, in, in addition to, like, helping out on the co- like saving costs with the not sending paper checks, uh, you know, employers are really turning to branch um, as a way to help them attract and retain talent, right? So most of the industries we work when they have a fairly high degree of turnover, 50 to 100% annually. And so anything they can do to stop that sort of continual churn um, by, again, providing benefits that their employees love to use uh, really goes a long way. Fantastic. Well, Latif, um, so if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on uh, on working with Branch, whether it's in a, somebody that owns a business, business owner, entrepreneur, executive out there, somebody that's thinking about what well, does this make sense for their clients, um, or an employee that's listening that's saying, hey, I wish my employer had it. I'm going to have them listen to this. I'm going to let my employer hear this episode so they can find out why they need to sign up so they get the benefit. I mean, two different ways to look at that one. Um, what's yeah. the the best way for people to follow up with this? The best way is to contact us via our website. It's branchapp.com. Uh, if you'd like to, you know, we're pretty active on Twitter as well. So if you'd like to reach out to us directly, uh, it's also at branch on Twitter. Fantastic. Well, Atif, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and all the great work that you're doing over at Branch, really to help working, you know, Americans with their financial wellness benefits and to help employers retain and attract talent. I mean, all great stuff there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. Let's keep the conversation going over in the YouTube community. And Tiff, thanks again for coming on the show. Hey, once again, thanks for having me, Ed.